Camilla, you were the first OG to be evicted from the Big Brother house. How did you feel watching it back? Oh, um, it was kind of strange, but I, I made the best decision for me at that time. Like, I was so glad with how it went. And I was ready to go. It was just too savage. Yeah. Too savage. Oh, my gosh. It looked it. And, look, you started your time down in the sewers with other returning housemates, Drew and Trevor. How long were you actually down there for? As, it was about three days. What? I think. I can't. <laughs> yeah, because it just kind of all merged into one day. But do you know what? I would have given anything to have just gone back to the sewer <laughs> with mm-hmm. Trevor and Drew. Like, we had such an awesome time and there's so much that never got shown that was bloody hilarious. Like, I wish we could have read on that. Oh. Or like seeing more. Was it was it as bad as it looked, or was it kind of like okay? Oh, compared to the house, it was it was like a five star vacation. <laughs> as soon you... as you get to the house, you're like, oh my gosh, seriously? Oh, the game is pretty much on now. Wow, where did you guys uh, go yeah. to the toilet? By the way, <laughs> in the room, in the middle. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just kidding. There was a lot. There wasn't a, uh, like an emergency toilet we could use. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I know. Imagine that. Turn around, guys. I'm just going for a way. <laughs> the smell would just say it all, really. Um, and so, you know, you, you guys walked in there and there were so many housemates. Was it a bit overwhelming? It was so overwhelming. I had to go and do a bit of breathing. I had to walk away from the table. Obviously, this wasn't shown. Um, yeah, I walked into the bedroom and just had some space before I went back out. It was really, really overwhelming. And it wasn't, like, the best welcome either. Like, people were giving hugs and stuff, but also you could see straight away the newbies were like, oh, just another one to get rid of. I know that, like, in the first few yeah. nations, <laughs> like, you and Sam voted for each other. Like, what was going on there? It seems like a bit yeah. strange. Oh, she was just didn't. She wasn't very welcoming to me at all. Um, I talked to her and she'd just walk out the room. She yeah. said something about my star sign, like we're all arrogant and selfish. And I was like, what? You don't even know me. Yeah, none of that got shown. But she was just really unwelcoming. And she didn't, like, I'm a girl's girl. But it was like, I was straight away a threat. And um, yeah, so, no, yeah, that's what happened. But I've told her that, like, that she knows that. She knows that she made me feel very unwelcome um but you know what all the house rates like how you react in the house this is one thing that i tried to tell everyone in there you're not like there's only one person gonna win and the rest of you do you want to leave this show with no friends because in 2012 every single housemate in 2012 i still contact them i, I still love more than anything and they're still my friends so fair enough it's a game you're gonna get money whatever but Really, do you want to walk away and not have any friends because you were just so concentrating on winning the game that you forgot to create any connections? Yeah, um, yeah I thought I, I even sat everyone down. I think I was like, you're just playing the game too much. Like, it's hectic. It's hard to be around those types of people because you just want to. Like, we had so much fun in 2012, like yeah. the best fun. Oh, no, it it's looks- just completely different. I know. I I wish it was back to the original format, to be honest. But (laughs) did you get to know anyone in the house or did you think it was just everyone just in it for themselves and not really interested? I had a couple of good conversations with a couple of people. Um, But I was really drawn back to... I mean, it doesn't show any of this, but Drew and I were following each other around like lost dogs for the first few days. Um, We... When we got into the house, like I'd be doing the dishes and he'd be doing the dishes with me. We'd be doing this and then we'd be doing it together. Like we we were really close in the house because it was really hard to know how to navigate. Everyone just wanted to get rid of you. It, it was kind of a strange one. But um, then, you know, I forgot what I was going to say that. But, um, so I had, I had Drew and I had Trevor because we'd already created those relationships in the sewer actual genuine connection because all we did was talk about life and stuff like that then it followed through into the house and those are the people that were drawn to when everyone else but we knew this was going to happen we knew when we walked into the house it was just going to be savage so we 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 already pre pre knew that beforehand wow it's just so interesting you know how it all unfolded i definitely 
didn't expect you to go and I just was like I was devastated Layla we didn't get to see enough oh thank Dumba no you I know it's crazy hey it is I just I, That's I, crazy. I kind of wish it was just all the OGs to be honest and just the one you know I know I know I think that's what everyone since all the feedback that I've been getting from everyone, like journalists or, you know, um, people that I've spoken to in the street, everyone said the same thing. They wish it was just all old house mates. So then they could bring back some of that joy of, you know, just having fun. Um, it's, a, it's a lot. I've had so many people say that to me. And, you know, I had such an incredible time in 2012. I was really nervous about going back in because I didn't want it to spoil that yeah. and I think that's one thing after leaving the house I had to really sit down and heal from because it was complete polar opposite to my first time and I just wasn't expecting that I don't think I wasn't expecting it to be so crazy yeah absolutely and let's talk about mm. Estelle for a second I heard she told housemates something before you got a chance to really chat to anyone what was going on there yeah uh, so random. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so there was this like story that before I got into the house, um, the housemates all came up to me and was like, Estelle told people that you, she was bullied in 2012 by you and Ben. Oh. Um, and so I walked in and I didn't really stand a chance from the minute I walked in. That's why a couple of the OGs were against me as well. Um, but that's fine. It is what it is. If that's what her story is, that's fine. I apologise to her because I've never known for being bully, so that was confusing to me. And but apparently, when I was like came, went onto the screen when I was coming through the trap door with the boys, like she had a panic. What? I don't think she wanted any other housemates from 2012 to go in. I think that's what it was actually. Oh. But it's fine. It is what it is. We let that go to rest at the house. I apologise to her if that's what she saw. And yeah, we moved forward. But there was times when the housemates were like, "You're you're a bully," like. I'm glad that you've apologised to her because you're a bully. And I was like, just smile and walk away. Just what? smile, Layla. Don't have a break now. <laughs> you know, you just have to like let it go. So I know you just have to pick and choose your battles in life. And that was one I was not choosing to continue on with. <laughs> wow, that's insane. And so did you get to kind of, who were, well, who were you closest to? in the house there, you know, you said Drew and Trevor, was there anyone else you got to know, any of the newbies or, you know, any of the past OGs? Um, honestly, not really. Like, obviously, Reggie did nominate me, but still, she, we did get chance to, like, you know, chat and stuff. But honestly, really, not, not, not many. Like, it just, the timing there was kind of strange. Like, it was, I felt really out of my comfort zone. And um, so, conversations that you have with people that create long-lasting relationships, there weren't many of them happening. It was just, it was kind of like very game orientated and strat chat nomination. Everyone was saying things to make you like them, not saying things because they were just being genuine kind of thing. So you never knew who to trust. You didn't know who to trust and you didn't know what to talk about and you didn't know, you know. So I'm really glad I didn't have to continue in a way I have regrets, but in in a way, I'm glad that I didn't have to continue with the facade of it for long. But I did have like such a good time winning the challenge, and you know, yes. and them all. Channel Seven were awesome, and so that amazing like time for me to have those people of, and like the back at uh, the cast and uh, the crew and everything were just such a good support network. So that was amazing. It just was. Just, it's just a different kettle of fish. And I think that I'm a good game. Like, I think I could do a good game. But I, because of going in later as well, Sam obviously was never going to do what she did with me to Drew because she fancied Drew already. She already fancied him from whenever she knew him, like, however long ago in Melbourne. But yeah. So she already fancied Drew. Trevor's just like a gentle giant. The, easy, the easiest target of OG to get rid of would have been me, which is fun because it's a game. And, and what did you think of um, Tim in the house? He definitely pulls a few strings, doesn't he? Yeah, puppet master. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. That's another thing. Like, at the time I was like, oh, my gosh, I've been conned by Tim. Like, I think I thought, you know, it was the OGs against each other. 
um, I'm sorry, the OGs together with the newbies. But I, and then by the time I was, it was my eviction night, and I could tell by people's faces. I just looked at people and I was like, "Yeah, I know how this is going to go, and that's fine." But I'm glad that I stayed true to myself. You know, I didn't start being sneaky or talking crap about people in the corner, or I didn't do that because that's just not me. Yeah, um, absolutely. If I was to do. If I was to do it again, which I wouldn't, but if I did, I would be a bit more savage because I, I just get so... I don't like hurting people's feelings. I don't like making people feel unwelcome. And I think that's another reason why I just wanted to stay, stay true to myself, really. Absolutely. And I wish we saw a bit of oat salad Layla in there too. I know. <laughs> what the hell? We didn't even see any. Oh. No rendition after all. Oh, so... <laughs> upsetting that was the first thing I thought of when you came in I was like please we need to do and like a, even a remix <laughs> or something recreate it I don't know I was just so excited <laughs> I don't know yeah so but there was times I don't think like bringing the new housemates would be like eye rolling at me if anyone's done yet I think it was like another version of uh, realization that I could be a threat if I was to go all the way and then everyone's thinking oh so I think it was more of like, and I think actually there was a time in the kitchen where JC and I were singing it and he was remixing it because you know how the music. Yeah. He did a he did a funky beat to it and we did do we actually did do one in the kitchen, JC and me. What? Why did it yeah. get shown? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was just absolutely horrific and awful. <laughs> I can't remember, but I do remember us doing like a remix. We saw that. Oh, I'm devastated. I know. I know. I know. Devastated. I actually was surprised that it just never came on. Like, not not even like anyone singing it. I know. I would have like gone up to you singing it. (laughs) Yeah. Please, someone just let me sing sing the dance. So funny. And let's talk about the challenge. Oh my god, that looked hard. Oh, it was hard. It was even harder than it looked. Wow. I swear I was completely covered in bruises. Oh no! After the, after that, yeah, I was in so much pain. I, and my shoulders and my neck were just killing because it's like the angle of trying to drag up those blocks. Yeah. But you know what? That the reward at the end was oh, it was amazing. I'm addicted to challenges now. I feel like going and finding like some sort of challenge location that does random things that you can do <laughs> <laughs> or start one off. Yes, and what made you so emotional? Well, when I was younger, I actually jumped off a bridge into water, but really, really hurt myself. Like, really hurt myself. And, yeah, when I was doing the challenge, and then I was fine carrying the box up, and then when I started climbing up the top and got to the top and realised I had to jump, that's when I panicked, I freaked out. I started shaking because I was like, I didn't want to have to leap. Yeah. You know, like, it brought back... it, It was like I said to somebody... It was like this filing cabinet in my brain that completely just opened up when I got to the top and was like, no, the file came out and went, remember, you're scared of free falling. And I was like, oh, I am? What the hell? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, until I got to the top. Oh, my gosh, you poor thing, because yeah. you bloody killed it. I was so excited. Oh, Good on you for doing I loved that. It. I just was like, you know what? I'm not going to die. I need to just jump. <laughs> yeah, you've got a harness on, you're all safe. Yeah, that's it. I'm harnessed up, nothing bad's going to happen. Just jump. So I just had a word with myself at the top. <laughs> good. Oh, you killed it. It was amazing. A great moment and, and good to see like an OG just kill it. So it was it was amazing, Layla. Glad to see it. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, Amber. You're welcome. And is there anything else that we didn't see that you wish we did? Um... What didn't we do? We, oh, so the, we, we made up a game in the sewers, like lawn bowls, but with tin peaches and uh, tin beans. <laughs> and and we, I used to say, do you know what I mean? And then Trevor would say peaches and beans, and that's what we called the game. Oh peaches God. and beans instead of peaches and cream. Anyway, <laughs> it was hilarious, because that's how we passed the time. We'd just make up random things. And also... In the sewers, um, with the bananas that we stole from the house, Drew and I made banana tea to help us get to sleep. So we boiled in the kettle the banana skins and 
strange about and drink with me. Oh my god! <laughs> I know. Well, I can't believe this one was not shown. Actually, it was quite random. But we swear by it. We swore by it. Really? Did it really help? I honestly reckon it does. I don't know if it was just like um, what's that thing where your brain um, the placebo effect. Oh yeah. But we genuinely believe that we. It tasted like coconut water, a bit bananary. <laughs> 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 we're just so random but see little things like this so random but it was so much fun yeah i wish we saw more of that because i love just the funny random things that people do like on the show yeah i wish yeah. we saw that yeah Damn it. yeah same. we need same. like deleted scenes released or something that's such footage. a good idea we need to get onto it yeah. the deleted scenes For that's sure. hilarious no <laughs> And who would you like to see win, if anyone at all? Um, do you know what? I was like 100% I want Johnson to win. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know if I've changed or like, you know, I, I really like Tarras. Yeah. He's so cool. Um, Tarras or Johnson, you know, Johnson just loves the show so much. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Johnson Terrace, JC is awesome too. Um, yeah, any any of the boys. And you know what's funny? They were part of the J Crew. And when we went into the house, we were like, we need to get rid of this J Crew. But really, I actually really, really like the boys a lot. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I suppose that's my. Let's go back to the question before. I did have a nice ish chat with the boys at some stage, oh, so that was good. Nice. So with the boys. It's always the boys I get on with. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. No, I, I feel like I'm the same. I'd probably be the same. So, yeah. 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 Wow. That's well, so good. Interesting you didn't say any of the OGs to win. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, I know. I just, you know. Yeah. They've done I'd just it before. Be happy to see. Yeah, I know. But even still, it, they still deserve it just as much, you know? Like, Reggie, she deserves to win so much. Yeah. Um, so even Reggie, so I don't know, I don't know. It's just hard to choose. It's hard to choose just one person. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's hard to choose. 